They all laughed at Christopher Columbus when he said the world was round. They all laughed when Edison recorded sound. They all laughed at Wilbur and his brother when they said that man could fly. They told Marconi wireless was a phony. It's the same old cry they laughed at. Bet you've heard that one before, haven't you folks? And it's usually a bunch of gobbledygook. It's usually some high-tech, ultra-complicated device that nobody but a nuclear physicist can understand. And it never seems to work as promised. Well, this time it's different. First of all, it's not free. However, it's the next best thing to free. It's almost free. Secondly, it's not complicated. It's a very simple, easy-to-understand, low-tech device. Third, it does work and has been working for thousands of years. We have just put an old idea into a new configuration. Our invention is based upon a new configuration of an old idea. This new configuration allows us to harvest huge amounts of clean green energy from a vast resource in a very inexpensive way. It's simple, it's easy, it's inexpensive and at the same time much more powerful in terms of power production capacity per dollar of building and maintenance costs. Therefore, it's extremely profitable to build and operate what we call underwater wave farm power plants. Profitable, that is, if you build these underwater wave farm power plants with our invention. This invention represents much more power for much less money. It is the wave of the future. We call it the Darius. This invention will serve as units to be assembled into underwater wave farms. As indicated before, because of our invention, these wave farms will be capable of producing many times more power than any other wave farm of equal building cost. Also, with our invention, these waveforms will be capable to produce many times more power than any other kind of power plant of equal building cost. Huge amounts of energy easily from a vast resource equals much more power for much less money. It's simple and easy to understand, and I'm going to show you how it works. Once I show it to you, you'll be able to verify it for yourself. You won't have to take my word for it. Also, when I've explained it to you, please spread the news about it. It's important to spread the news about this very quickly for two important reasons. First of all, this can help us avert climate disaster, but only if deployed rapidly. Secondly, we need to raise a mighty chorus of voices demanding this to avoid any possibility of it being suppressed. First, let's deal with the scientific principle of operation and a basic mechanical description of the invention that we call the Darius. In Darius Part 2, we will provide a more extensive detailed explanation of how this invention works. Right now, we will give a short general explanation. The scientific principle that this invention uses is hydrostatic pressure. Where water is piled up higher, the pressure beneath that pile is also higher. In the sea, wave action piles water higher in some areas than it does in other areas. Everyone knows that water moves from an area of higher pressure to an area of lower pressure. Place a rigid conduit or tube between such an underwater area of higher pressure and one of lower pressure, and the water will flow through that tube from the area of higher pressure to the area of lower pressure. Here is key point number one. This invention works on underwater pressure differences that are created by the waves on the surface of the sea. We have here a stop action animation sequence with waves depicted as moving from right to left over a submerged tube that is open at both ends. As shown in this animation, when the waves pile water higher on the end of the tube labeled A, the water flows through the tube from end A towards end B, where the water level is lower. Likewise, when the waves pile the water higher over end B, the water flows in the other direction, 
from in B toward in A. This back and forth flow of water through the tube caused by underwater pressure differences will happen anywhere under the 70% of the earth covered with water that has waves on the surface. And this is the importance of key point number one. This is why we say the energy available using this method is almost unlimited. This means that this invention is a means of easily and inexpensively accessing a vast, huge source of energy. We place a special turbine in the tube to capture the energy from that back and forth flow of water in the tube. This is key point number two. We use a simple, inexpensive Darius turbine that always spins in the same direction no matter which way the direction of flow crosses over the turbine. This is a simple turbine, and simple means inexpensive. It's a turbine in a tube. What could be simpler? This is why we say simple and inexpensive. Here's an animation that shows how that turbine works. Here's a top view depiction of the turbine. This is a slow motion animation. Watch the motion of the turbine flaps closely. See how the flaps catch the flow on the right side of the turbine and feather into the flow so as to offer no resistance to the flow on the left side of the turbine. When the flow of water reverses, see how the flaps flip to catch the flow on the left side of the turbine and thereby still keep the turbine spinning in the same clockwise direction even though the flow of water in the tube has changed direction. The turbine will be mounted in the tube on a vertical shaft. After that, it's just a matter of attaching the turbine to an electric generator. Here's another animated view of how the turbine works. This one starts with a top view and then the image moves to a side. The following is key point number three, and why we say this invention is much more powerful than any other waveform or any other kind of power plant. Our turbine not only produces a unidirectional rotation from a back and forth flow, but it also rotates on a vertical shaft. This vertical shaft is very important for amplifying power, and this drawing shows why. The drawing shows three of our tubes arranged in a stack with the turbines of each tube attached to the same common vertical shaft. Why is this important? Consider the following. If one turbine of one tube produces five kilowatts from a given pressure difference, then three turbines of three tubes stack vertically so that these tubes all get the same pressure difference will deliver 15 kilowatts to a common shaft. Each time we add a tube and turbine unit to the stack, with the turbines of each tube attached to the same common vertical shaft, we add more power to that shaft, which in turn then delivers more power to the generator. Stacking in this way will produce many times more energy than you can get from the surface wave. Many times more energy depending on how high you stack the tube and turbine units. The sheer immensity of the energy resource this invention makes available to the human family is staggering. That is key point number three. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a simple, easy, inexpensive invention that operates on known principles of easy to understand science. And it will enable the human family to easily and inexpensively access almost unlimited, almost free, clean energy. Looking at the three key points again, I'm sure it's dawning on most of you that this is not just another wave farm concept. This is not just another invention. This is a breakthrough, a blockbusting innovation, a whole new paradigm in the energy industry. This is most certainly the greatest advance in energy production since the discovery of fire. Much more power for much less money Edison, from the almost unlimited sound. motion of the ocean. They didn't believe Columbus and the Wright brothers, but please we'll believe me, brother. we can avoid we'll climate disaster with this invention fly. and we can build a successful utopia of planetary plenty and peace within a generation it's by using this invention. Thank you for your time and interest. <laughs>